How to Create Introduction Freeze Effect in Premiere Pro First, let's add a video with which we will work. For this I am using the Easy Edit Viewer plugin. Here are collected many graphic templates that will help you solve any task when editing a video. There is also a convenient function for searching media materials from popular resources. Assets tab. There are GIFs, images and videos. Using the search, we will find the material of interest to us. Great, let's use this video. By clicking on the button, Import. We add it directly to the timeline. Now we need to select a video fragment from which our effect will begin. Since there are black areas on the top and bottom of the AIO, you need to enlarge it. Now we cut the video in the place where the effect will start. Right click on this area and choose add frame hold. We captured this part of the video in one frame. Hold the option key and drag the video to the top layer. Now in this layer select the brush in the opacity section. And select our character with a mask. Great, now we can set the starting points of the animation by clicking on this clock to raise the scale and position items. Now we go to the last frame and choose what position a character should be in. Set mask feather to zero. So that the animation is not linear and monotonous, we will change its dynamics. Select the last points. Right click and select Easy In. We will do the same with the first points. Only here we will choose Easy Out. And we have such animation dynamics. Now let's work with the background. Select the bottom layer and add a gauge and blur effect to it. In this case, I'll put the value 70 and that's enough. And I will choose this item. By choosing the black and white effect. We immediately give the background a black and white look. If you want to make the background a different color, go to the color tab. And using these parameters, give any desired color. I am currently using a black and white background. Select the top layer and right click. 
Nest. Select this layer and add an effect to it. Radial Shadow. We got a shadow from our character. In the effect settings, we can choose any color. Opacity. Then we set the size and position to get the outline around the character. This will separate it from the background and add volume. Let's move our layer up one path. On the internet, I found an image with such drawings. Any plain background pattern will do. Place the go under the character layer. Right click and choose scale to frame size. Let's apply the tin effect to it. And in this column we will choose what color we need this background. Next, add the color key effect. And using the eyedropper, select the background color. Then there are settings with which you can remove artifacts if they appear. Now we can position this element in the frame. We animated the cyclist so that he approaches us in the frame. And this layer can be animated in the opposite direction. So that from a large size it decreases. This will add volume to our frame. And let's give the same animation dynamics. Easy in. And easy edit out. Now let's add some text. In order not to spend a lot of time creating cool and animated titles, it is better to use ready-made templates. You can choose a suitable option in the hyper kit. Just select and click on it. Place the text layer between the character layer and the picture. Let's go to the motion column and place it in the frame. For more precise settings, open the Essential Graphics tab. Here you can change the text. Select the font.
Resize it. Change the colors of elements and more. We are almost done. Let's merge all the layers in Nest. And render to reproduce this section without freezing. In the meantime, you can subscribe to our channel so as not to miss our lessons on working in Premiere Pro, After Effects and much more. After rendering, you can normally view the fragment and understand what is worth changing. For example, we want the text to appear later. We enter the nest sequence and set the moment at which its animation will begin. To make a smooth transition between video and effect. Use the depth to black transition. Place it first in the center of the scene. And then manually correct which looks better. Any effect can be accompanied by music. Pick a music with a powerful moment and put it in the place where it was glued. Let's render. And let's see our result. Great. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and see you soon.